Hi, it's Sharon from Vivid Days. Just wanted to share some of my knowledge, <laughs> wisdom or experience. I think experience would more be the right word on cutting corners when adding a second layer when using Resiblast. Now there is nothing wrong with using Resiblast itself. It creates some amazing effects. But if you don't take the time to ensure you have wiped off all the resi blasts, it will continue to create those amazing effects here. So for me, I had a losing battle with this piece and I'm calling this piece Beautiful Disaster. By no means is it finished. <laughs> As you can see, I've got holes that go through my resin down to the bottom layer where uh, it wasn't there, it, it was because I didn't sand it down. It's because the residue of a resi blast was still on top and I thought I'd cleaned it, I worked with it quickly but I wasn't thorough enough. So what this means now is I'm gonna have to go in here and use this as a backdrop and I'm gonna use it as a peacock. But the reason I call it beautiful disaster is even though this is not ideal and I've gotta come back now, clean it all off, scrape it down, add some more resin. I'm turning this into a peacock and this is behind the scenes. But there are some beautiful effects that's come in here. Uh, with the resin blast and you can obviously see the glitter and everything below so yes my hot tip to you is do not cut corners and the importance of preparation and taking the time to remove any excess resin blast is important resin blast itself is amazing nothing wrong with that it's just how you apply it if you need a second coat or to cover up a previous piece of work Cutting corners will end up wasting resin and wasting time. So, yeah. Anyway, I look forward to showing you how I transform this piece into a peacock. So watch out for this video coming to a YouTube channel near you.